eMaps Plus is an effective, low-cost solution for online GIS. eMaps Plus, an easy-to-use GIS website designed for local government to reduce the staff time associated with public record requests and general telephone inquiries. The web-enabled software allows users to search properties and view the associated assessment database. eMaps Plus allows users to link to Google Street View and Bing Bird's Eye View to see the aerial oblique photos and curbside views of the property. eMaps Plus allows users to measure areas, distances, print property record reports with embedded site maps. The maps, reports, and illustrations can be loaded into form letters, mailing labels easily generated, printed direct mailings for public hearings, and other required government notifications. eMaps Plus can be implemented for only $3,600 per year with a two-year commitment. No other online GIS software offers the same functionality at this price level. This fee includes setup and cloud hosting. eMaps Plus includes a 90-day warranty period to evaluate the usefulness. As you look over the eMaps Plus interface, which is built on the latest ArcGIS server and Flash technologies, you'll notice we have gone full screen with the map. We have conveniently placed all of the tools in the banner so they are easily accessible. The first thing most people do when they get to eMaps Plus is search for a property. So I'm going to go to the search bar and the screen prompts me with the various search options. To retrieve land records, you can search by street address or owner name. I'm going to search by name and enter in the name Simmons, Kent. The search result will automatically zoom to the subject parcel. Notice an eMaps Plus informational window with expandable and collapsible columns. You will also notice that there is an Identify button in the middle of the parcel. This is a shortcut to pull up our mini property record card, which is a brief overview of the most commonly requested parcel information. If a more robust report is needed, or you would like a spreadsheet or printout, we use our Report button, which is conveniently located on the mini property record card, as well as our eMaps Plus info window. As you can see, the Report button generates a printable report, seen right here that includes aerial imagery as well as a sketch of the parcel. The property record card allows the user the ability to click through and view all the assessment data including building components which are on the second page of the report. Also you may be wondering what can someone actually do with this data and how can it be pulled off the Internet? For that we have several fantastic options. First is a simple solution which is to print it to paper or save a PDF in case you want to save it to print or send to someone later. The next way you can print the report really lends itself to helping people be able to use the data and that is the ability to export to an Excel spreadsheet which gives the user live data that they can edit or add to and save on their computer. Another option enables eMaps Plus to connect to external links and property-related databases by matching parcel number, street address, or geographic coordinates like longitude and latitude. The best example is accomplished by clicking the Land and Lot Books link to view older tax maps for the property. External database connection is a powerful tool featured in eMaps Plus. The next tools we have developed give eMaps Plus the wow factor. We are going to use our Select button to select a group of parcels. First, we will run the Statistics tool on the cul-de-sac we have selected. This is a great tool for evaluating a neighborhood by average and median values using the Assessed Value, Tax Value, and Appraised Value. Now, we want to take a look at a larger subject area. For that, we are going to use our thematic button, which has the ability to sort spatial attributes by status, which will automatically assign unique colors to whichever attribute you choose. We will choose subdivision. 
The ability to thematically shade by neighborhood, subdivision, use code, and tax district is an extremely useful tool. But eMaps Plus also offers a tool which will overlay circles of different sizes that visually denote a value for that parcel by assigning an attribute for range. eMaps Plus gives you the option of evaluating the subject parcels by total appraised, total assessed, and building improvement values. You can see that eMaps Plus has overlaid red circles that denote appraised value for all parcels selected, which creates an accurate and easily understood visual representation of a large data set. This is another inventive way that eMaps Plus delivers massive amounts of spatial and non-spatial data in a format that can be quickly understood by the casual GIS user. The next tool that we have in our eMaps Plus info window is Advanced Query. Advanced Query allows the ability to run powerful queries and identify parcels in your subject area with the exact attributes and assigned values you are looking for. You will notice that we have a multitude of attributes to query by, such as structure type, building value, tax district, total acres, or land value, to name a few. With eMaps Plus Advanced Query, you can have up to four rows to query by, and from viewing the thematics about this area, I know we have a diverse range of home values, and probably home sizes and ages, so that is how we are going to query down to our selection. Our first query will be Year Built, and we want newer than 2005. You can see that trimmed down our results a lot. Now, let's query it down a little further by adding two additional criteria. Total appraised over 366,000. And total living area over 4,500 square feet. Now we can see that our subject area has gone from over 600 parcels down to less than 30, simply by choosing the values we want for certain attributes. And now that we have queried out the parcels we are interested in, let's go ahead and send those people a letter. We will use the mailing label tool to create mailing labels for the selected parcels. Let's see how easy it is to use the map measurement tools. The user has several options when you click the tape measure icon. Extract coordinates for a point. Measure a distance between features. Easily determine how far the house is set back from the street edge. Calculate an area by creating a polygon. The result is most commonly reported in acres, but other units of measure can be defined by the user. The Print Map icon allows the user to preview the report before sending it to the printer. Print to Portrait or Landscape Style. Save the screen view to a PDF to use later or email. A simplified map layer icon easily allows the various map features to be managed. Let's turn on the aerial photo and adjust the transparency feature. Slide the cursor to adjust. Group subject parcels together, selecting the entire cul-de-sac. The selection tool will lasso the entire group of properties like this. Or use the buffer method to group properties together. Drop a point. Define the buffer area. Enter the units of measure. All parcels contained within the defined buffer area will be highlighted. 
move the cursor over the parcel on the eMaps Plus info window. The selected property and the action items options will appear. Let's link to Google and view the property from a 3D perspective. Click the Google Guy icon. The Bing Bird's Eye View allows the user to move around in one window. Google Street View gives you a curbside view of the property. All the Street View functions remain intact. Zoom. Pan. Drive down the road. eMaps Plus is a powerful, incredibly intuitive online mapping GIS site that allows local government to provide better services to the public. eMaps Plus sites receive over 8 million hits a month from over 200,000 unique visitors. Site Analytics has proven that 70% of first-time users will return to the eMaps Plus site.